welcome guys. Uh, Jose and I wanted to uh, just give you an update on what we're doing uh, with the comments. So, you want to bring me up to speed? Do you yep. want to shut her down? Alexa, stop. Yeah, so we got the cylinder head right here. Uh, it's already prepped up, cleaned up, blowed out, uh, ready to get installed right now. We got the head gasket installed. Take me first to the, what did you do? What did you? Uh, yeah. Already got the head gasket installed. Okay. Liners, everything's obviously already installed. Yesterday, when you were putting uh, the cylinders in, can you, you want to explain really what you did and can you bring it up? We got the piston ring compressor. Uh huh. So this opens up. We install this on the piston and compresses the ring, so it's uh, so we can install it into the cylinder. Uh, on these updated APR liners, you need this uh, adapter ring in order to install the the piston in the cylinder. Okay. If you don't have this, you're gonna break a piston ring and it's not gonna go in at all. Okay. And explain what an API liner is anti-polishing ring they have this anti-polishing ring on the top uh, the reason for that is to remove any prevent any buildup on the top of the piston any soot that's why they that's why they went with this design right here so um, walk me through really quick what do you uh, what you did yesterday uh, you put in all the pistons in yeah uh, put all the pistons in, torqued down the main and rod bearings, mm -hmm. and I uh, shot a clip of me installing the piston cooling nozzle on number two, okay. and torquing it down. Is there anything about the uh, head gasket that you uh, we can talk about as we have it open up here? Uh, maybe what happens to when you overheat an engine? Well, like this one right here, we have the cooling port right here, and this one the head gasket blew out right here, so we were uh, having compression going into the cooling system mm -hmm. that's why he was consu uh, consuming coolant yeah because he he overheated his engine yeah he did. so that's the whole reason we're doing this is because uh, that's why I wanted to point it out because one uh, he overheated it and he had a drop liner and a couple liners were lower than specs so that's why we went ahead and did the counter bores on the black all six which coolant port was it uh, number one so this is a coolant port right here yeah and gasket, uh, head gasket right here. So this is the firing. This is what seals the compression in the cylinder. So since the liner was dropped, it didn't have that uh, crush. It didn't have that sealing right there. So we had all the compression going straight to the cooling, uh, cooling system. Yeah, that's why uh, overheating an engine, definitely some take it better Different than others. Yeah. That's for uh, sure. Every every engine is different, but you you definitely want to stay away from that. Um, we have experience with D12s being bulletproof, but yeah. uh, we've I've heard different stories about Detroit's, uh, uh, especially Cummins yeah, and Cummins, yeah, uh, Caterpillars as well. What is something that, um, as a driver, uh, you think it's obviously we talked about the overheating. Uh, but maybe when you have we could probably mention a valve adjustment right what happens to to uh, uh a piston head when when you have a valve out of adjustment do you think that's worth mentioning here uh what, like we see before we had like a oh, that cylinder head yeah we have, we've seen an, an, I, an isx fail in uh detroit yeah with the we did i think we showed it somewhere yeah but what pretty much happens is it's just you're gonna bang up uh the cylinder the valve is, stay, is staying a little bit closer yeah it, obviously it's staying closer because uh the adjustment isn't set properly so you're, you're gonna lose compression right there and you're gonna burn out the valve uh, and if you, you drive it for so long there's chances are that you're gonna burn out the seat that the valve is gonna break into pieces and you're gonna get more more damage well i I killed an engine like that. One of my exhaust valves uh, broke into pieces and yeah. just damaged the entire what, cylinder. What, uh, what engine was that? A D12. So we're gonna so we're gonna put the head on, right? Yeah. Um, is there anything else? Is there anything that uh, you would wanna talk about here? We got we got a new head for it, obviously, and we're returning the the old one for core. Yeah, that's and, already dropped off. Yeah. Why a new head? Why a new head? Uh, we've had bad experiences with uh, machine shops. Uh, personally, me, I've seen 
uh, bad valve jobs, uh, seals put on wrong, or these uh, locks that secure the valve on the, the spring. Yeah. We've seen the, oh, we've seen one on a D12 fail as well, mm -hmm. broken valve spring. Yeah, so if you if you can, definitely a uh, new head is, is, is it's the, the way best, to go. It's the best way to go, and also uh, when they pressure test them, sometimes there's cracks that aren't visible, even though they do the magnet flux, sometimes they don't pick it up. Always, I mean, blow out all the, all the oil holes, so you don't blow out one of the cam bearings. Mm -hmm. So got that head gasket, uh, well the head gasket set over there with all the holes. Took out the head gasket already. Intake manifold gasket. Got your front cover gasket right here. Valve cover gasket. Grommets for coolant, fuel. This is like sometimes they include stuff for like an out of frame job, mm -hmm. not really in frame. So you don't really use up everything. Yeah. Just like we did with the uh, liners. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Well, that's I guess it's something new that Cummins is doing. Yeah. We got our probably exhaust manifold gasket. Oh, no. We got some turbo shit right here. Gaskets. Thermoset housing gaskets right here. The seal. And we got our, the exhaust manifold gaskets over here. Turbo mounting. EGR valve gaskets. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, for the EGR cooler going to the exhaust manifold. You you might as well want to. You you definitely want to put new ones in when when you're doing that. I yeah. mean. It, you're gonna have a, some type of boost leak or yeah. exhaust leak fumes coming in the, inside the cab. Yeah, there's no really reason to save on that. No, it's already in, included in the kit. Block once you remove the head, you put these on the block, so this way you don't have any uh, dirt or debris going into the oil gatherers. Injected oil rings, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, so at this stage, uh, what do you think? We'll have it running in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Right. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you soon.